हेलो बंधुरा आशा कर सबा खूब भलो आज खूब भलो भाव प्रिपारेशन दीचो तो आज के तुम्हारे कुरमी गुप्ता बी थे इरिगेशन अबजेक्टिव कोश्चनगुल आलोचना करब तो चलो शुरू कर जा कोश्चन नम्बर वन द इरिगेशन इंजिनियरिंग मे बी डिफाइंड एस अपशन ए द प्रसेस अब आर्टिफिशियल सप्लाइंग व्टार टू सएल फर रेजिंग क्रप रईट अपशन बी ए सायस अब प्लानिंग एंड डिजाइनिंग एंड एपिसियन एंड इकोनमिक इरिगेशन सिसटेम रईट अपशन सी द इंजिनियरिंग of controlling and harnessing the various natural sources of water by the construction of dams canals and finally distributing the water to the agricultural fields right so option number d is right answer all of the above let me tell you what is irrigation the method of artificial application of water to the soil for the growth of agricultural crops is known as irrigation question number 2 the irrigation is necessary in an area Option A, where there is scanty rainfall, right? Option B, where the rainfall is non-uniform, right? Option C, where, where commercial crop require more water, right? Option number D is the right answer, all of the above. Question number three, the irrigation water is said to be unsatisfactory if it contains option A, chemical toxic to plants or to persons using plants as food, right? Option B, chemicals which react with soil to produce unsatisfactory moisture characteristics, right? Option C, bacteria injurious to persons or animals eating plant irrigated with water, right? Option number D is the right answer, all of the above. Question number 4, sandy soils with good drainage become impermeable after prolonged use if it is irrigated with water containing 85% sodium. Option number D is the right answer. Question number 5. For irrigation purpose, the pH value of water should be between 6 to 8.5. Option number B is the right answer. Question number 6. Which of the salt present in water is harmful for cultivation purpose? Sodium carbonate is the most harmful for the cultivation purpose. Option A is the right answer. Sir. Question number 7. When an open dried sample of soil is kept open in the atmosphere, it absorbs some amount of water. This water is known as hygroscopic water. Option number C is the right answer. Gravitational water. When soil pores get completely saturated, the surface water then starts flowing downwards due to gravity. This water is called gravitational water. Then capillary water. The water written, written by the soil after Fully eliminate, eliminating the gravitational water is called capillary water. This water is very useful for plant growth. Question number 9. A part of water which will move out of the soil if proper drainage is provided is known as gravitational water. Right. Option number A is the correct answer. Question number 10. Superfluous water is also called gravitational water. Option number B is the right answer. Question number 11. The irrigation is supplementary to rainfall. Right. Option A is the right answer. Question number 12. Irrigation increases the chance of water logging right water logging occurs when there is too much water in a plant's root zone which decreases the oxygen available to the roots question number 13 irrigation is said to be a science of survival right option a is the right answer question number 14 a useful soil moisture for plant growth is capillary water option number a is the right answer question number 15 the amount of water required to fill up the pore space in soil particles by replacing all air held in the pore spaces is known as saturation capacity option number b is the right answer question number 16 the moisture content of the soil after pre-drainage has removed most of the gravity water is known as field capacity option number a is the right answer question number 17 the water content at which plants no longer extract sufficient water from the soil for its growth is called permanent wilting point option number c is the right answer at this point the growth of the plant is stopped and finally they get death and question number 18 the available moisture content may be defined as the difference in water content of soil between the field capacity and the permanent wilting point option number b is the right answer question number 19 the field capacity of soil depends upon option a capillary retention in soil right option b porosity of soil right option c either a or b no both option a and b right so option number d is the right answer question number 20 capillary water useful moisture for growth of plants right option number a is the right answer question number 21 consumptive use of water by a crop is equal to the option number c is the right answer the depth of water consumed by evaporation and transpiration during crop growth including water consumed by accompanying wheat growth question number 22 the consumptive use of water of a crop Option A is measured as the volume of water per unit area, right? Option B 
is measured as depth of water on irrigated area right option c may be supplied partly by precipitation and partly by irrigation right option number d is the right answer all of the above question number 23 which of the following statement is correct option a the cavity water is water is harmful to crops gravitational water contains low energy of retention this type of water is of no use to the plants because they occupy the larger pores resulting in poor aeration so it is essential to remove the excess water for plant growth Question number B. The hygroscopic water remains attached to soil molecules by chemical bonds. Yes. Option number C. The capillary water is utilized by the plants. Right. Option number D is the right answer. Question number 24. The ratio between the area of a crop irrigated and the quantity of water required during the entire period of growth is known as duty. Option number B is the right answer. Question number 25. The total, total depth of water required by a crop during the entire period the crop is in the field is known as delta option number a is the right answer question number 26 duty is largest on the field option number c is the right answer because its unit only we know hectare per cubic so so at the destination point it will be maximum rather than the starting point or source point question number 27 the time in days that crop takes from the instant of its sowing to that of its harvest is known as crop period is the right answer Question number 28. The whole period of cultivation from the time when irrigation, irrigation water is first supplied for preparation of the ground to its last watering before harvesting is called base period. Option number A is the right answer. Question number 29. The duty of irrigation water goes on increasing as the water flows. Option number A is the right answer. Question number 30. The crop ratio is the ratio of area irrigated. In Kharif season 2 rabbit season option number B is the right answer. Question number 30 on the duty of irrigation water will be less if water supply record is more. Option number C is the right answer. Question number 32. The relation between duty in hectare per cubic and delta in meters and base period capital B is option number A is the right answer. Delta equal to 8.64 B by D. Question number 33. The area in which crop is grown at a particular time or crop season is called culturable common area. Option number B is the right answer. Gross common area. The total area enclosed between an imaginary boundary and line which can be included in an irrigation project for supplying water to the agricultural land by the network of canals is known as gross common area. This gross common area is divided into two areas. One is unculturable area that is marshy lands, lake ponds, etc. and other is cultural area. Cultural area is also divided into two areas. One is cultural cultivated area. The area where cultivation is done as present is known as cultural cultivated area and another is cultural uncultivated area where cultivation is possible but not done at present. Question number 34. The first watering done before sowing the crop is known as Paleo option number B is the right answer. Question number 35. The first watering when the crop has grown a few centimeters is called core watering. Option number B is the right answer. Question number 36. The crop records maximum water during option A first watering before sowing the crops. No option B last watering before harvesting. No option C is the right answer. First watering when crop has grown a few centimeters that is core water question number 37 the maximum depth in soil strata in which the crop spreads its root and derives water from the soil is called root zone depth option number b is the right answer question number 38 the depth of root zone is 90 centimeter for rice option number c is the right answer 13.5 centimeter for wheat and 16.5 centimeter for, for sugar cane question number 39 the duty at the outlet is called capacity factor no, it is called outlet discharge factor. So, option number B is the right answer. Incorrect. Question number 40. The duty of a crop is 432 hectares per cumic when the base period of crop is 100 days. The delta for the crop will be. We know the relation delta in meter equal to 8.64 B by D. 8.64. The delta will be equal to 8.64 into B is the B equal to 100 and D equal to 432 so delta will be equal to 2 meter and 200 centimeter option number B is the right answer for this question question number 41 the average delta for rice crop is nearly 120 centimeter option number C is the right answer and 
फाइव सेंटीमीटर फॉर हुईट एंड एंड नाइनटी सेंटीमीटर फॉर सुगर केन सो ऑप्शन नंबर सी इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी टू द एवरेज ड्यूटी फॉर सुगर केन इन हेक्टर फॉर क्यूमिक इज एट हंड्रेड हेक्टर फॉर क्यूमिक दैट इज फॉर हुईट वन एट जीरो जीरो हेक्टर फॉर क्यूमिक एंड दैट इज फॉर राइस सेवन सेवन फाइव हेक्टर फॉर क्यूमिक क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी थ्री द ऑप्टिम डेप्थ ऑफ पॉडरिंग इज नाइनटीन सेंटीमीटर फॉर राइस ऑप्शन नंबर सी इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी फोर आउटलेट डिस्चार्ज फॉर ए पार्टिकुलर क्रॉप इज गिवेन बाय एरिया बाय आउटलेट फैक्टर ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी फाइव द ऑप्टिम डेप्थ ऑफ पॉर वाटर इन पॉर हुईट इन प्लेन्स और नॉर्थ इंडिया इज थार्टीन पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स द कॉर डेप ऑफ राइस इज नाइनटीन सेंटीमीटर एंड कॉर पीरियड इज फोर्टीन डेज द आउटलेट फैक्टर फॉर द क्रॉप इन हेक्टर्स पर क्यूमेक विल बी वी नो द रिलेशन डेल्टा इक्वल टू एट पॉइंट सिक्स फोर बी बाई डी सो इफ वी पुट द वैल्यू इन इक्वेशन द ड्यूटी विल बी इक्वल टू सिक्स थ्री सेवन हेक्टर्स पर क्यूमेक ऑप्शन नंबर बी इज द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सेवन वायर स्टीप लैंड इज अवेलेबल द मेथड ऑफ इरीगेशन एडोप्टेड इज फ्री फ्लडिंग ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज द राइट आंसर इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ऑर्डिनरी फ्लडिंग जनरली यूज फॉर रोलिंग लैंड वायर द ट्रोपोग्राफी इज इरेगुलर एंड वायर वाटर फ्लडिंग चेक फ्लडिंग एंड फारो मेथड आर नट फिजिबल वाटर द वाटर एप्लीकेशन एफिसियसि इज भेरि लो इन दिस मेथड फॉर एंड इट इज पार्टिकुलरलि सूटेबल हुआर द लैंड इज स्टीप सामटाइम्स इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड वाइल्ड फ्लाडिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी एट फॉर क्लोज ग्रोइंग क्रप हाज एज हुईट द मेथड अफ इरीगेशन यूज इज वर्ड अफ फ्लाडिंग मेथड अपशन नम्बर बी इज द रईट आंसर हे आर द लैंड इज डिवाइडेड इन टू इच स्ट्रीप सेपारेटेड बै लो लेज कल बॉर्डर द स्ट्रीप इज टेन टू टोटी मीटर उइथ एंड हंड्रेड टू फोर हंड्रेड मीटर इन लंग एंड दर्ड इज अलाउड टू फ्लो फ्रम सप्लाई डिच इन टू द स्ट्रीप क्वेश्चन नम्बर फोर्टी नाइन चेक फ्लाडिंग मेथड अफ इरीगेशन इज यूज फर क्रप्स हुईच कैन स्टैंड इनडेशन अफ वाटर फर साम टाइम अपशन नम्बर सी इज द रईट आंसर दिस मेथड इज सीमिलार टू प्री फ्लाडिंग मेथड एक्सेप्ट दैट द वाटर इज कंट्रोल बै साराउंडिंग चेक एरिया उइथ फ्लैट एंड लो लेज एंड इट इज डिपलि सूटेबल फर होमोजिनियस क्ले एंड लोमी सएल उइथ मीडियम इनफिल्ट्रेशन रेट क्वेश्चन नम्बर फिफ्टी फर पटेटो सूगार कैन एंड ग्राउंड नाट द फारो मेथड अफ इरीगेशन इज एडोप्टेड right option number a is the right answer in this method of irrigation the water is supplied to the land which will be irrigated by the series of furrows which are basically small and parallel narrow channels number 51 the flooding is also termed as wild flooding right option a right answer question number 52 which of the following statement is correct option a in free flooding the field is divided into a number of small size plots which are particular लेवल ये ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज करेक्ट ऑप्शन बी इन बॉर्डर स्ट्रीप में तो द स्ट्रीप्स आर सेपरेटेड बाय लो लेवल्स राइट ऑप्शन सी इन फारो इरिगेशन द वाटर इज एडमिटेड बिटवीन द रोज ऑफ प्लांट्स इन द फील्ड राइट सो ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज आर ऑल ऑफ द एब क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी थ्री स्प्रिंकलर इरीगेशन इज एडोप्टेड फॉर अन इवेंट एरियाज ऑप्शन नंबर बी इज आर आंसर हेयर इन दिस मेथड द वाटर इज एप्लाइड टू द क्रॉप इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सोरे एंड इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज ओवर हेड इरीगेशन इट इज बेस्ट सुइटेड फॉर लाइट सॉइल्स एंड यूज इन द कल्टिवेशन ऑफ टी कॉफी एंड भेजिटेबल्स क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी फोर द मेथड ऑफ इरीगेशन यूज फॉर ऑर्कैड इज बेसिन फ्लाडिंग मेथड ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज राइट आंसर स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ चेक फ्लाडिंग एंड स्पेशली एडोप्टेड फॉर ऑर्कैड ट्रीज द शेप ऑफ द बेसिन कैन बी रेक्टेंगुलर सर्कुलर स्क्वायर और इरेगुलर एंड इट इज नॉट सुटेबल फॉर क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव द हाइड्रोलॉजी इज अ सैंस हुई डील्स उइथ द ऑप्शन ए अकारेंस ऑफ वाटर ऑन द अर्थ राइट ऑप्शन बी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ वाटर ऑन द अर्थ राइट ऑप्शन सी मूवमेंट ऑफ वाटर ऑन द अर्थ राइट सो ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज राइट आंसर ऑल ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी सिक्स द नॉलेज ऑफ हाइड्रोलॉजी इज नेसेसरी इन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फॉर ऑप्शन ए डिजाइनिंग एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ इरिगेशन स्ट्रक्चर राइट ऑप्शन बी डिजाइनिंग एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ ब्रिज एंड कलवर्स राइट ऑप्शन सी फ्लड कंट्रोल वर्क राइट सो ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज राइट आंसर ऑल ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी सेवन द हाइड्रोलॉजी हेल्प्स इन ऑप्शन ए प्रेडिक्टिंग मैक्सिमम डिस्चार्ज राइट ऑप्शन बी डिसाइडिंग कैपासिटी ऑफ रिजर्वर्स राइट ऑप्शन सी फोरकास्टिंग फ्लड राइट ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज राइट आंसर ऑल ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी The science which deals with the physical features and condition of water on the earth surface is called 
hydrography option number b is the right answer hydrometry hydrometry is the monitoring of the components of hydrological cycle including rainfall and ground water characteristics as well as water quality and flow characteristics of surface water hydrosphere hydrosphere is the total amount of water on the planet it includes water on the surface of the planet and that is on the underground and in the air next hydraulics the branch of science and technology concerned with conveyance of liquid through pipes and channels question number 59 the science which deals with the measurement of water is called hydrometry right option a is right answer question number 60 the earth's water circulatory system is known as hydrological cycle option number b is the right answer question number 61 the fall of moisture from atmosphere to the earth's surface in any form is called precipitation option number c is the right answer precipitation means snowfall rainfall hail sleet etc question number 62 liquid precipitation consists of option number d is the right answer rainfall question number 63 the hydrology cycle is expressed by the relation p equal to e plus r where p equal to precipitation e equal to evaporation and r equal to runoff option number b is the right answer question number 64 high colonic precipitation results from lifting of air masses converging into low pressure area option number a is the right answer question number 65 the precipitation caused by another rising of warmer lighter air in colder and denser surroundings is called convective precipitation option number a is the right answer question number 66 the precipitation caused by lifting of warm moisture laden air masses due to topographic barrier is called orographic precipitation option number b is the right answer question number 67 the process of losing water from the leaves of plants is termed as transpiration option number c is the right answer question number 68 the movement of water through the soil surface into the soil is called infiltration right option number a is the right answer question number 69 the maximum rainfall during a short period measured in mm per hour is called mean annual rainfall no no it is intensity of rainfall option number b is the right answer disagree question number 70 the amount of precipitation is measured by rain gauge option number a is the right answer question number 71 the commonly used rain gauge is float type rain gauge option number c is the right answer question number 72 the standard height of a standard rain gauge is 30 cm option number c is the right answer question number 73 according to dickens formula the flood discharge q in q mag is given by option number b is the right answer q equal to c a to the power 3 by 4 where c is the flood coefficient and a is the area of basin in square kilometer question number 74 for madras catch means the flood discharge is estimated from q equal to c into a to the power 2 by 3 this formula is known as rise formula option number b is the right answer question number 75 according to fanning's formula the flood discharge q in q mag is given by q equal to c into a to the power 5 by 6 option number c is the right answer question number 76 english formula is used for estimating flood discharge for option number a is the right answer catchment of former bombay presidency question number 77 nabab jang bahadur formula is used to estimate flood discharge of american catchment right option number a is the right answer question number 78 dickens formula for high flood discharge is useful for catchments in northern india option number b is the right answer question number 79 in order to estimate the high flood discharge in fan shaped catchment the formula used is english formula option number c is the right answer question number 80 the estimation of flood can be made option a by physical indication of past floods right option b the by flood discharge formula right option number c by unit hydrograph right so option number d is the right answer all of these Question number 81. Which of the following method is useful for obtaining values of flood discharge for a high recurrence interval? That is Gumbel's method. Option number C is the right answer. Now, what is Gumbel's method? It is a statistical method that has been applied for the estimation of return period for flood and maximum rainfall. Question number 82. A graph showing variation of discharge with time at a particular point of a stream is known as hydrograph option number c is the right answer this is the hydrograph in y axis it is discharge mq per second and in y axis this is time in hours question number 83 the gap because representation of average rainfall and rainfall excess which is equal to rainfall minus infiltration rates over specified areas during successive unit time intervals during a storm is known as hydrograph option number c is the right answer the area under a Hydrograph represents the total precipitation received in that period. 
this is higher graph in y axis it is in field intensity of rainfall millimeter per hour and in x axis it is time in hour question number 84 a hydrograph representing one centimeter of runoff of from a rainfall of some unit duration and specific area distribution is known as unit hydrograph option number c is the right answer unit hydrograph a direct runoff hydrograph resulting from one unit which is equal to one centimeter of constant intensity uniform rainfall occurring over the entire water set the concept of unit hydrograph is based on linear system theory and follow the principle of superposition and superpositionality option number c is the right answer question number 85 runoff is measured in option number a is the right answer mq per second question number 86 flat frequency denotes the likelihood of flat being equal or exceeded Right option number is right answer. Question number 87. A canal aligned nearly parallel to the contours of a country is known as contour canal. Not be the right answer. Question number 88. A canal aligned approximately parallel to the natural drainage of a country is called side slope canal. Option number B is the right answer. Question number 89 a canal aligned roughly at right angles to the contours of a country is called rich canal no this is called side slope canal option not be the right answer for question number 90 the watershed canal is also called rich canal option number c is the right answer question number 91 irrigation canals are generally aligned along watershed line option number b is the right answer question number 92 a canal aligned at right angles to the contour of a country is called Side slope canal option number A is the right answer. Question number 93 the alignment of canal option A should be such as so as to ensure minimum number of cross drainage works right. Option B on a water set is the on a water set is the most economical right. Option C should avoid valuable properties right. So option number D is the right answer. All of the above. Question number 94. Inundation canals draw their supplies from rivers whenever there is a high stage in the river option number b is the right answer this canals are filled in rainy season question number 95 in side slope canal the cross drainage works are completely eliminated right option number a is the right answer question number 96 a contour canal option a is most suitable in hilly areas right option b irrigates only on one side right option c is aligned parallel to the contours of the country right so option number d is the right answer all of the above question number 97 which of the following statement is correct sequence of the parts of a canal system? Option B, headworks, main canal, branch canal, distributary, and minor. Option number B is the right answer. Question number 98. Match the correct answer from group B for the statements given in group A. Of group in group A, in perennial canals. In group B, of capital D is the right answer. Water flows throughout the year because it is permanent canal. In group A, option number b in non perennial canals capital a is the right answer in group b water does not flow throughout the year it only flows in rainy season in group a option number c in protective canals option number capital b is the right answer revenue from water is not expected in group a option number d in productive canals in group B, capital C is right answer. The revenue from water is expected. Question number 99 in canal section, in which is in partial filling and partial cutting. The full supply level of the canal is above the natural surface level. Right. And option B, the weight level of the canal is below the natural surface of the level. Option B, A and B, both options correct. Question number 100. The narrow strip of land left at the ground level between the inner toe of the bank and top edge of cutting is known as bomb option number d is the right answer the canal along with its all components like freeboard bomb and dowel etc are discussed in my previous irrigation video so you can uh, check it out from there to, to go ahead number 101 the gap or margin of height between the full supply level and the top of the bank is called freeboard option number a is the right answer question number 102 the bomb when fully formed option a reduces the absorption losses and prevents leaks right option b protects the bank from erosion and because of wave action right 
ऑप्शन सी प्रोवाइड ए स्कूप फॉर फ्यूचर वाइडनिंग द चैनल राइट सो ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज द राइट आंसर ऑल ऑफ द एबो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन जीरो थ्री हुई चाहता फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज रॉन्ग ऑप्शन ए द टॉप ऑफ डाउल इज केप्ट एब द फ्री सप्लाई लेवल बाय ए मार्जिन ऑफ फ्री बोर्ड राइट ऑप्शन बी द डाउल्स आर प्रोवाइडेड एज ए मेजर ऑफ सेफ्टी फॉर ऑटोमोबाइल्स ड्रिवेन ऑन द सर्विस रोड्स राइट ऑप्शन सी द डाउल्स एक्ट एज काफ ऑन द साइड ऑफ रोड वे टूअर्स द कैन एंड राइट ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज राइट आंसर नन ऑफ दब क्वेश्चन नंबर वन जीरो फोर द फ्री बोर्ड इन ए चैनल इज गवर्न बाई दी ऑप्शन ए साइज ऑफ द कैन एंड राइट ऑप्शन बी लोकेशन ऑफ द कैन एंड राइट ऑप्शन सी वाटर सर्फेस फ्लक्चुएशन राइट ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज राइट आंसर ऑल ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन जीरो फाइव द बम्स प्रोवाइड एडिशनल स्ट्रेंथ टू दि बैंक एंड दस मेक इट सेफ एगेंस्ट ब्रिचेस राइट ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन जीरो सिक्स द सचुरेस इंग्रेडियंट इन एडर इन एन ऑर्डिनरी लोम सॉइल इज फोर इज टू वन ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन जीरो सेवन द हाइट ऑफ डावेल एब द रोड लेवल शुड नॉट बी मोर दैन थार्टी सेंटीमीटर ऑप्शन नंबर सी इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन जीरो एट द विद आउट डावल इज यूजली केप फ्रॉम जीरो पॉइंट थ्री टू जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स मीटर ऑप्शन नंबर बी इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन जीरो नाइन ए स्पॉयल बैंक इज फॉर्म हुए द ऑप्शन नंबर सी इज राइट आंसर हॉलीम ऑफ एक्सपेशन इज इन एक्सचेज ऑफ एम्बांगमेंट फिलिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वन जीरो द बड़ो पीट शुड पेपर विल बी टेकन फ्रॉम दि सेंट्रल हाफ उथ अफ दि सेक्शन अफ दि कैनल अप्शन नंबर सी इज द रईट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन 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 इन केस अफ स्म चैनल द बड़ो पीट शुड स्टार्ट फ्रम ए डिस्टेंस नट लेस दैन फाइव मीटर फ्रम दि टू अफ द एमेंगमेंट अप्शन नंबर डी इज द रईट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वन टू वेन दि क्वान्टिटी अफ आर्थ इज मार्च इन एक्सचेज अफ क्वान्टिटी रिक्वयर फर फिलिंग इट हेज टू बी डेपोजिटेड इन द फर्म अफ स्पॉल बैंक द दिस स्पॉल बैंक आर मेड ऑन ऑप्शन ए राइट साइड राइट ऑप्शन बी द लेफ्ट साइड ऑप्शन सी बोथ साइड ऑल ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज द राइट आंसर ऑल ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ऑन थ्री द गैप्स क्रिएटेड इन द बैंक ऑफ ए कैनल इज कॉल ब्रिज राइट ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ऑन फोर द टर्म बैलेंसिंग डेप्थ हैज द सेम मीनिंग एज द डेप्थ ऑफ वाटर इन द कैनल नो बैलेंसिंग डेप्थ कम्स हो इन द कैनल इज इन पार्सली काटिंग एंड पार्सली फिलिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ऑन फाइव ए लैंड इज सही टू बी वाटर लोक्ड हो इन ऑप्शन ए दस एयर सार्कुलेशन इज स्टॉप इन द रूट जोन ड्यू टू राइज ऑफ इन वाटर टेबल ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ऑन सिक्स द इनफर्टिलिटी ऑफ द स॑ल इन वाटर लॉक्ड एरिया इज ड्यू टू ऑप्शन ए इन इन वीटिंग एक्टिविटी ऑफ द सॉइल बैक्टीरिया राइट ऑप्शन बी ग्रोथ ऑफ वीड्स राइट ऑप्शन सी इनक्रीजिंग ऑफ हार्मफुल सॉल्स राइट ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज राइट आंसर ऑल ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ऑन सेवन वाटर लॉगिंग इज कॉज ड्यू टू ऑप्शन ए इन एडुकेट ड्रेनेज फैसिलिटीज राइट ऑप्शन बी ओवर एडुकेशन राइट ऑप्शन सी प्रेजेंस ऑफ इम्परमेबल स्टार्टर राइट ऑप्शन नंबर डी राइट एंड ऑल ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ऑन एट द सॉइल बिकम्स प्रैक्टिकली इनफर्टाइल इफ इट्स पी एच वैल्यू इज अबाउट इलेवन ऑप्शन नंबर सी इज राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ऑन नाइन इंटेंसिटी ऑफ इरीगेशन शुड बी इनक्रीज इन ऑर्डर टू प्रिवेंट द एरिया फ्रॉम वाटर लॉगिंग नो इट शुड बी डिक्रीज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू जीरो द मेजर ऑफ एडोप्टेड टू डी क्लेम द वाटर लॉक्ड एरिया इज ऑप्शन इज राइट आंसर इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ लिफ्ट इरीगेशन स्कीम्स क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू वन वाटर लॉगिंग टेक्स प्लेस ड्यू टू दी राइज इन ग्राउंड वाटर टेबल ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू टू हुई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज रॉन्ग ऑप्शन ए सी पी एच ड्रेन रिड्यूज द चांस ऑफ वाटर लॉगिंग राइट ऑप्शन बी वाटर टेबल जेनरली फॉलोज द ग्राउंड सर्फेस एब बीट उ फ्यू एक्सेपन्स राइट ऑप्शन सी एट दि वाटर टेबल द हाइड्रोस्टैटिक प्रेसर इज जिरो राइट ऑप्शन डी वाटर लॉगिंग मेक्स द लैंड मोर प्रोडक्टिव नो सो ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू थ्री मोस्ट इकोनॉमिकल सेक्शन ऑफ ए लाइन कैन एंड इज ऑप्शन नंबर सी इज द राइट आंसर टेपेजियल सेक्शन उद राउंडेड कॉर्नर्स फॉर हायर डिसचार्ज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू फोर लाइनिंग ऑफ ए कैनल इज नेसेसरी ऑप्शन ए टू मिनिमाइज सी पी एस लॉसेज इन कैन एंड राइट और टू ऑप्शन बी to prevent erosion of bed and site due to high velocity right option c to increase the discharge in canal section by increasing the velocity right so option number d is right answer all of the above canal lining and its types all discussed in my previous videos so you can check it out from there question number 1 to 5 lining of a canal decreases the maintenance of the canal option number b is right answer question number 1 to 6 lining of a canal ऑप्शन नंबर ए एस्यूज इकोनॉमिकल वाटर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन राइट ऑप्शन बी रिड्यूसेस पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ ब्रीचिंग राइट ऑप्शन सी इंक्रीजेस
क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू एट द सोडियम कार्बोनेट लाइनिंग कॉन्जिस्ट ऑफ एटलिस्ट सिक्स परसेंट रोडियम सोडियम कार्बोनेट एंड टेन परसेंट के लिए ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन टू नाइन फॉर द रिपेयरिंग ऑफ एन ओल्ड बट साउंड कॉन्क्रीट लाइन द लाइनिंग पे पैड इज ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज द राइट आंसर शॉर्ट क्रिएट लाइनिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर वन थ्री जीरो द ग्रोथ उइड इन ए कैनल लीड्स टू डिक्रीज इन डिस्चार्ज ऑप्शन नंबर बी इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन थ्री वन गैलेट्स डायग्राम गिव्स द ग्राफिकल मेथड ऑफ डिजाइनिंग ए चैनल बेस्ड ऑन कैनेडी थ्योरी ऑप्शन नंबर सी इज राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन थ्री टू कैनेडी इन इज सील थ्योरी एस्यूम दैट द सील इज केप्ट इन सस्पेंशन बिकॉज ऑफ इट इज जेनरेटेड फ्रॉम दी बेड ऑनली ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन थ्री थ्री अकॉर्डिंग टू कैनेडी द सील सपोर्टिंग पावर इज ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज द राइट आंसर डेटली पोर्सनल टू दी बेड उथ ऑफ दी स्ट्रीम क्वेश्चन नंबर वन थ्री फोर स्नो नॉन शिल्डिंग नॉन स्कॉरिंग वेलोसिटी इज कॉल्ड क्रिटिकल वेलोसिटी ऑफ फ्लो ऑप्शन नंबर बी इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन थ्री फाइव कैनेडी गे ए रिलेशन बिटवीन क्रिटिकल वेलोसिटी एंड डेप्थ ऑफ फ्लोइंग वाटर ऑप्शन नंबर सी इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन थ्री सिक्स इन द रिलेशन गिवेन बाई कैनेडी फॉर क्रिटिकल वेलोसिटी इन मीटर पर सेकेंड इज भी नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव फाइव एम इन टू डी टू दर जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स फोर ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज द राइट आंसर वायर एम इज द क्रिटिकल वेलोसिटी रेशियो एंड कैपिटल डी इज द डेप्थ ऑफ वाटर ओवर The bed portion of a channel in meters. Question number one three seven. A channel is said to be in scouring when the critical velocity ratio is greater than one. Option number C is the right answer. When it is less than one, the channel is said to be in silting, and when the critical velocity ratio is one, the channel will be neither in silting nor in scouring. Question number one three eight. When the critical velocity ratio is less than one, the channel is said to be in silting. Yes, option number A is the right answer. Question number one three nine. Which of the following statement is wrong? Option A. In Kennedy's seal theory, no account was taken of seal concentration and bed load. Right. Option number B. Kennedy did not give any solar figures. And right. Option C. In Kennedy's theory, seal grade and seal charge were not defined. Right. So option number D is the right answer. None of the above. Question number one four zero. Kennedy gave his own formula for the determination of mean velocity. No, it is critical velocity. Option number B is the right answer. Question number one four one. According to Kennedy, the seal transporting power of a channel is proportional to. Option number C is the right answer. V not to the power five by two. Where V not is the critical velocity in a channel. Question number one four two. According to Lacy, a channel is said to be in regime if. Option number A. It follows in in quarter and unlimited. Alluvium of the same character as that transported material. Option A is the right answer. Option B, its discharge is constant. Right. Option C, the seal grade and seal charge are constant. Right. So option A is the right answer. All of the above. True regime condition occurs when the can neither in sealing nor in scouring. Initial regime. It is the stress of the channel when that has formed the section, but yet to form the longitudinal bed slope completely. Final regime. This stage is achieved by the channel when its both slope and width can be adjusted. Number one four three. The inherent alluvium is a soil composed of loose granular gelatinous material which can be scoured with same ease with which it is deposited. So number is the answer. Question number one four four. The main cause of silting in a channel is option number A. Non regime section right option B inadequate slope right option C defective head regulator right so option number D is the right answer all of the above question number one four five according to Lacy option A the seal is kept in suspension due to force of vertical eddies right option B the eddies are generated from the beds and side both normal to the surface of the generation right option C the vertical component of eddies generated from sides will also support the seal right so option number D is the right answer all of the above. Question number one four six. Lacy assumed that shield is kept in suspension because of normal components of eddies generated from the whole perimeter. Option number C is the right answer. Question number one four seven. Lacy gave a relation between velocity and hydraulic main depth and area and velocity. Option number A and B both are correct. Question number one four eight. The Lacy shield factor F is equal to five v square by two r option number b is the right answer question number where b is the mean regime velocity and r is equal to hydraulic main dip question number one four nine the channel after attaining its section and longitudinal slope will be said to be in final regime option number b is the right answer question number one fifty lacy assumed a trapezoidal cross section of a regime channel no option number b is the right answer question the general regime flow equation is 
ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज द राइट आंसर वी इक्वल टू 10.8 आर टू द पावर 2 बाय 3 एस टू द पावर 1 1/3 फॉर बी इज द मीन रीजन वेलोसिटी आर इक्वल टू हाइड्रोलिक मीन डेप्थ एंड एस इक्वल टू स्लोप ऑफ वाटर सरफेस क्वेश्चन नंबर 152 इफ एम इज द मीन पार्टिकल डायमीटर ऑफ दिस शील्ड इन एमएम द लेस इज शील्ड फैक्टर एफ इज गिवन बाय ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज द राइट आंसर 1.76 रूट ओवर ऑफ एम क्वेश्चन नंबर 153 लेस इज थ्योरी एज अप्लाई टू चैनल डिजाइन इन ब्रॉब्स ट्रायल एंड एरर प्रोसीजर नो दिस इज फॉर कैंडिडेट्स थ्योरी क्वेश्चन नंबर 154 द पैरामीटर डिस्चार्ज पी क्यू रिलेशन इज गिवन बाय द इक्वेशन ऑप्शन नंबर सी इज द राइट आंसर पी इक्वल टू 4.75 रूट ओवर क्यू क्वेश्चन नंबर 155 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट ऑप्शन नंबर ए ऑप्शन ए इन लेस इज सील थ्योरी द डेरिवेशन ऑफ द वेरियस फार्मूला डिपेंड अपॉन अ सिंगल फैक्टर एफ राइट ऑप्शन बी लेस इज इक्वेशन इंक्लूड्स द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ सील एज वेरिएबल नो ऑप्शन नंबर बी लेस ही प्रॉपर्ली डिफाइन द सील गेट एंड सील चार्ज नो ऑप्शन डी लेस ही इंट्रोड्यूस्ड सेमी इलिप्स एज आइडियल शेप ऑफ ए रिजिम चैनल नो सो क्वेश्चन नंबर 156 अकॉर्डिंग टू लेस ही इक्वेशन द स्क्वायर डेप इज इक्वल टू ऑप्शन नंबर बी इज राइट आंसर 0.47 विद इन ब्रैकेट क्यू बाय एफ टू द पावर 1/3 क्वेश्चन नंबर 157 इज टू बी टू द हेड रेगुलेटर आर प्रोवाइडेड ऑप्शन ए to control the supply to the uptaking channel right option b to control sealed entry in the uptaking channel right option c to stop the supply when not needed in the uptaking channel right so option number d is the right answer all of the above question number 158 cross regulators are provided option a to raise the water level to its upstream during the periods of load discharge in the parent channel right option number b to help in closing the supply to downstream of the parent channel right option c to absorb fluctuation in various sections of the canal system right so option number d is right answer all of the above question number 159 a structure constructed in an irrigation canal for the purpose of wasting some of its water is known as escape option number b is the right answer question number 160 the escape must lead the surplus water to natural drainage right option number a is right answer question number 161 escapes are also known as safety valves for the canal option number b is right answer question number 162 the capacity of the escape channel should not be less than 50% of the capacity of the parent channel at that point d is the right answer question number 163 a fall which mountains the depth is a option a tapezular notch pole right option b rectangular notch pole right option c low wire fall right so option number d is the right answer all of these canal fall and its type all are discussed in my previous videos so you can check it out from there option number 164 for a canal which irrigate the area directly the fall should be provided at a location where the apsl outstrips the ground level but before the bed of the canal comes into filling right option number a is the right answer question number 165 the sardha canal has a vertical drop for option number b is the right answer question number 166 in sardha type for the length of the crest is kept equal to bed width of the canal option number b is the right answer question number 167 in sardha type for the width of the trapezoidal crest capital b is given by option number c is the right answer capital b equal to 0.55 within bracket root of water of h plus d where capital h is equal to depth of water and d is the drop at bed level question number 168 the relation of for discharge q over a rectangular crest of a sardha fall is option number a is the right answer q equal to 1.835 al into h to the power 3 by 2 with in bracket h by b to the power 16 a equal to length of the crest in meters b equal to top width of the crest in meters and h equal to depth of water in meters question number 169 in a sardha type for the trapezoidal crest is used for discharge over 14 mq per second right question number 170 for a discharge of 14 mq per second in sardha type fall the rectangular crest is used option number a is the right answer question number 171 a buffel wall is a sort of low wire constructed at the end of the cistern to option a head up the water to its upstream to such a height that hydraulic jump is formed right option b will stand the actual impact of the high velocity jet to dissipate the energy right so option number c is the right answer both a and b question number 172 in an angle type fall the buffel holds the jump stable on a horizontal platform right option number a is the right answer question number 173 a parabolic glass type fall is commonly known as montek type fall option number a is the right answer question number 174 when the water is thrown into a well 
over a crest from where it escapes near its bottom the type of fall is called cylinder fall option number b the right answer question number 175 a sudden fall of level of ground along the alignment of a canal joined by an inclined bed is called rapid fall option number a is the right answer question number 176 the cylinder or oil fall is quite stoutable and economical for Option number B is the right answer. Low discharges and high drops. Question number 177. According to Blaine's formula, the depth of cistern below the high downstream bed x in meter is given by Option number B is the right answer. x equal to 2d c plus 1 fourth within bracket hl minus 3 8 dc minus d. Question number 178. Which of the following statement is wrong? Option A. In a trapezoidal notch fall, the, tap, the top width of the notch is kept between 3 4 to full water depth above the seal of the notch. Right. Option B. The energy dissipation takes place by the provision of roughening devices. Right. Option C. The siphon fall is designed to maintain a fixed supply level in the channel. Right. Option D. Energy dissipators are provided for most discharge. No. So, option D. No. Option number D is the right answer. Question number 179. The discharge Q over a trapezoidal crest of Sarda fall is more as compared to rectangular crest of identical parameters. So, option number C is the right answer. Question number 180. The English type fall makes use of option number B is the right answer. Horizontal impact for energy dissipation. Question number 181 the fall which can be used as a meter fall is vertical drop fall. Option number A is the right answer. Question number 182 a canal outlet should option number A be so designed that the farmer cannot temper with its functioning. Right. Option B be simple so that it can be constructed or fabricated by local masons. Right. Option C draw its fair share of steel carried by the distributing channel. And right, so option number D is the right answer. All of the above question number 183 a device which ensures a constant discharge of water passing from a channel to another, irrespective of water level in each within certain specified limit, is called module. Option number B is the right answer. Question number 184 an outlet in which the discharge depends upon the difference in level between the water level and distributing channel and the water course is known as. Non modular outlet option number A is the right answer. Question number 185 In flexible outlet, the discharge depends upon the option number A is the right answer water level in the distributory. Question number 186 When the discharge of an outlet is independent of water level in the water course and the distributory, the outlet is termed as rigid module. Option number D is the right answer. Question number 187 The Gibbs module is a type of rigid modular outlet. Option number C is the right answer. Question number 188 the ratio of the rate of change of discharge of an outlet to the rate of change of discharge of the di distributing channel is termed as flexibility option one b is the right answer question number 189 in a proportional outlet the rate of change of its discharge is equal to the rate of change of discharge of the distributing channel option number a is the right answer question number 190 the ratio of head recover to the head put in an outlet is called efficiency option number d is the right answer question number 191 the efficiency is a measure of conservation of head by an outlet right option number is the right answer question number 192 the sensitivity of an outlet is defined as the ratio of rate of change of discharge of an outlet to the rate of change in level of the distributing surface depart to the normal depth of channel option number b is the right answer question number 193 an outlet is said to be proportional if its flexibility is equal to minute unit equal to unity option number c is the right answer question number 194 the sensitivity of a rigid module is equal to zero option number a is the right answer question number 195 the flexibility of a hyper proportional outlet is greater than one option number a is the right answer question number 196 the flexibility of a sub proportional outlet is less than one right option number a is the right answer question number 197 the setting of an outlet is defined as the ratio of the option number c is the right answer the depth of the seal or the crest level of the module below the full supply of the distributing channel to the full supply depth of the distributing channel Question number 198. For the pipe outlet to be proportional, the outlet is set at 0.3 times the depth below the water surface. Option number A is the right answer. Question number 199. In the case of a proportional outlet, the setting is equal to the ratio of the outlet index to the channel index. Right. Option number A is the right answer. Question number 200. The setting for a hyper proportional outlet is 
more as compared to a proportional outlet option number a is the right answer question number 201 the setting for a proportional outlet is less as compared to proportional outlet option number b is the right answer question number 202 the ratio between the depth of water levels over crest on the downstream and downstream and upstream of the model is known as drowning ratio option number c is the right answer question number 203 which of the following is a type of non-modular outlet submerged pipe outlet is a non-modular outlet option number a is the right answer question number 204 which of the following is a type of semi-modular outlet Kennedy's above gauge outlet option number c is the right answer question number 205 the slope of a canal for a discharge of 300 mq q max would be Option number C is the right answer or in 8000. Question number 206. A diverse and head dog is constructed to option number A raise water level at the head of the canal right. Option B regulate the intake of water into the canal right. Option C reduce the fluctuation in the supply level of river right. So option number D is the right answer all of the above. Question number 207. A wire is generally aligned at right angle to the direction of the main river flow because option A it is economical right. Option B less length of wire is required right option c it gives better discharge capacity right so option number d is right answer all of this question number 208 a wire fails due to option number a rupture of flow due to uplift right option b rupture of flow due to suction caused by standing wave right option c is cover on the upstream and downstream of the wire right so option number d is the right answer all of the above Question number 209 A solid construction put across the river to raise its water level and divert the water into the canal is known as where option number B is the right answer. Question number 210 When the difference in where crest and downstream river bed is limited to 3 meters, the where generally used is concrete slope where option number C is the right answer. Question number 211 Okhala where on Jamuna river in Delhi is an example of dry stone slope where option number B is the right answer. Question number 212 in Blip's creep theory, it is assumed that the percolation water creep option number A is the right answer along the contact of the base profile of the apron with the subsoil. Question number 213 in Lane's weighted creep theory, he proposed a weight of 3 for vertical creep and 1 for horizontal creep. Option number A is the right answer. Question number 214 in Blip's creep theory. Option A, there is no distinction between horizontal and vertical creep, right? Option B, loss of head does not take place in the same proportion as creep length, right? Option C, the flip pressure distribution is not linear but follows a sign curve, right? So, option number D is the right answer, all of the above. Question number 215, the function of a barrage is different to that of a wire. No. Option number A is the right answer. The functional barrage is similar to that of a where question number 216 in a barrage crest level is kept option number a low with large gates option number a is the right answer low with large gates question number 217 the coefficient of creep is the reciprocal of percolation coefficient right option number a is the right answer question number 218 the loss of head per unit length of the creep is called percolation coefficient option number b is the right answer question number 219 according to Kosler's theory the undermining of the floor starts from the Tail end option number B is the right answer. Question number 220 according to Kosler's theory, the critical hydrogate hydraulic gradient for alluvial soil is approximately equal to 1. Option number A is the right answer. Question number 221 according to Kosler's theory, the exit gradient in the absence of a downstream cutoff is infinity. Option number C is the right answer. Question number 222 a hydraulic jump is formed when a supercritical flow statics again a subcritical flow. Option number B is the right answer. Question number 223 a for Flow navigation dam the type of gate used is bear trap gate option number b is the right answer question number 224 the loss of head in the hydraulic jump is given by the equation option number c is the right answer d1 capital d1 minus capital d2 to the whole cube divided by 4 d1 into d2 where d1 is the depth of water on the downstream and d2 is the depth of water on the upstream question number 225 the, the trap stage of river is most suitable location for the diversion head works right option number a is the right answer in india four stages of river are rocky stage then boulder stage then trough stage and last delta stage number 226 a canal head work in rocky stage of a river is not suitable because 
option A more cross drainage works are required right option B a costly head regulator is required right option C more faults are necessary to dissipate the energy right so option number D is the right answer all of the above question number 2 to 7 the crest level in a barrage is kept at a low level option number A is the right answer question number 2 to 8 the crest of the under slope should be lower than the crest of the head regulator if sealed exploder is provided by at least 4 to 5 meter option number D is the right answer question number 2 to 9 thus opening in the wire well of with a crest at low level on the canal side is known as the under sluices or scarring sluices right option number a is the right answer question number 2 3 0 the function of a scouring sluice is option a to control sealed entry into the canal right to option b to scour the sealed deposited in the river bed above the approach channel right option c to pass the low floods without drop dropping the shutters of the main wire right so option number d is the right answer all of the above question number two three one for smooth entry the regulators are aligned at an angle of 60 degree to the water option number a is the right answer question number two three two the level of a canal diversion headwork depends upon option a discharge perimeter right option b pond level right option c full supply level of water canal right so option number d is the right answer so option number d is the right answer all of these question number two three three reverse on alluvial planes may be option a mindering type right option b aggregating type right option c degrading type right option d all of these Op option number d is the right answer all of these question number two three four and aggregating river is a silting river option number b is the right answer but question number two three five a degrading river is a scouring or right option number a is the right answer question number two three six a river mindering through an alluvial plane has a series of consecutive curves or reversal order connected with short stair sketches is called crossing option number a is the right answer question number 237 with the mentoring belt is the transverse distance between the apex point of one curve and the apex point on the reverse curve option number a is the right answer question number 238 the degree of sinuosity is the ratio between the curve length and the straight air distance option number c is the right answer question number 239 tortuosity of a mentoring river is the ratio of Curve length along the river to the direct axial length of the river option number C is the right answer. Question number 240. The tortuosity of a mindering river is always greater than one option C is the right answer. Question number 241. The primary cause of mindering is the excess of total charge during floods when excess of turbulence is developed. Right option number A is the right answer. Question number 242. The basic factor which controls the process of mindering is option a discharge right option b value slope right option c bed and side resistance right so option number d is the right answer all of these question number 243 when river flows in a plain country each stage is known as trough stage option number c is the right answer question number 244 which of the following statement is correct option a the aggregating type of river builds up its bed to a certain slope right option b the degrading type river loses its bed gradually in the form of sediment load of the stream right option c the pattern of mender is altered by variation in discharge slope and bed forming material right option number d is right and all of the above question number 245 the width and length of the mender as well as width of the river vary approximately with square root of the discharge option number c is the right answer question number 246 the river training works are adopted on a river option a to pass high flood discharge safely and quickly through the bridge right option b to direct and guide the river flow right option c to reduce bank erosion to a minimum right so option number d is the right answer all of that above question number 247 the method used for training of river is option a guide bank right option b dike or levy right option c ground right so option number d is the right answer all of this question number 248 a river training work is generally required when the river is mindering type option number c is the right answer question number 249 a ground is a structure constructed transverse to the river flow and extend from the bank into the river up to a certain limit option number a is the right answer right question number 250 a ground option a contract a river channel to improve its depth right option b seals up the area in the vicinity by creating a slack flow right option c trains the flow along a certain course right so option number d is the right answer all of the above question number 251 the repelling ground is constructed in such a way that it is pointing towards upstream angle of 30 degree option number a is the right answer question number 252 a deflecting ground has a much shorter length than the 
देन ए रिप्लेंग ग्राउंड ऑप्शन नंबर बी इज राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू फाइव थ्री ए रिफ्लेक्टिंग ग्राउंड इन ए रिवर इज परपेंडिकुलर टू दी बैंक ऑप्शन नंबर बी इज राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू फाइव फोर द लेंथ ऑफ ए ग्राउंड डिपेंड्स अपन दी मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द रिवर टर्निंग रिकॉर्ड राइट ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू फाइव फाइव मैच द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट फ्रॉम ग्रुप बी फॉर द गिवन स्टेटमेंट इन द ग्रुप ए सो इन ग्रुप ए ऑप्शन ए एक हेड रेगुलर इज कॉन्स्ट्रक्टेड इन ग्रुप बी ऑप्शन नंबर कैपिटल डी इज राइट आंसर एट द हेड ऑफ द कैनल इन ग्रुप ए ऑप्शन नंबर बी ए माइनर इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड ऑप्शन नंबर कैपिटल सी इज राइट आंसर इन ग्रुप बी नियर द हेड रेगुलेटर इन ग्रुप ए ऑप्शन नंबर सी ए डाइवर्सन हेड इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड ऑप्शन नंबर कैपिटल बी इज राइट आंसर इन द ग्रुप बी एट द हेड ऑफ द माइनर इन ग्रुप ए ऑप्शन नंबर डी एन आउटलेज इज कॉन्स्ट्रक्टेड ऑप्शन नंबर कैपिटल ए इज राइट आंसर इन ग्रुप बी टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द वाटर टू द फील्ड क्वेश्चन नंबर टू फाइव सिक्स विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज रॉन्ग ऑप्शन नंबर ए द इम्परमेबल ग्राउंड डू नॉट परमिट एनी फ्लो थ्रू देम राइट ऑप्शन बी द इम्परमेबल ग्राउंड मे बी कॉन्स्ट्रक्टेड बाई ए कोर ऑफ लोकली कैवेलेबल मेटेरियल लाइक सैंड क्ले एंड ग्रेवल राइट ऑप्शन सी द परमेबल ग्राउंड डैम्पेन दिलोसिटी एंड रिड्यूस द एरोसिप एक्शन ऑफ द स्ट्रीम राइट ऑप्शन नंबर सो ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज राइट आंसर नॉन ऑफ द अब क्वेश्चन नंबर टू फाइव सेवन एल ए बी ऑन द फ्लड ऑप्शन ए इंक्रीजेज द वाटर सार्फेस एलिवेशन ऑफ द रिवर एट द फ्लड राइट ऑप्शन नंबर बी डिक्रीजेज द सार्फेस स्लोप ऑफ द स्ट्रीम एव द लेविट पोर्सन राइट ऑप्शन नंबर सी इंक्रीजेज द भिलोसिटी एंड स्कारिंग एक्शन थ्रू द लेविट सेक्शन राइट सो ऑप्शन नंबर डी इज द राइट आंसर ऑल ऑफ द अब क्वेश्चन नंबर टू फाइव एट ए ग्रोन उथ ए कार्ड हेडेड इज नोन एज हॉकी ग्रोन ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज द राइट आंसर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू फाइव नाइन when the bed level of the canal is higher than the highest flood level of the drainage then the cross drainage work is said to be aqueduct option number a is the right answer the cross drainage works like aqueducts i pin up that all are discussed in my previous irrigation video question number 260 when the drain is over the canal the structure is provided is known as super passage option number b is the right answer question number 261 when the full supply level of the canal is much below the bed level of the drainage tra then the cross drainage provided is called siphon aqueduct No, it is called super passage. Question number two six two. When a canal flowing under pressure is carried below a natural drainage, such that its APCL does not touch the underside of the supporting structure, the structure provided is super passage. Right. Option number A is the right answer. Question number two six three. When the levels are such that APCL of the canal is much above the bed level of the drainage trough, so that the canal runs under the sunder side under the siphonic action under trough. The structure provided is known as canal siphon. Option number C is the right answer. Question number two six four. When the irrigation canal and the drain are at the same level, the then the cross drainage works achieved by providing a level crossing. Option number C is the right answer. Question number two six five. In case of siphon aqueduct, the each level of the drain is much higher above the canal bed. Option number B is the right answer. Question number two six six. In a super passage, the APCL of the canal is lower than the underside of the trough. Carrying drainage water option number A is the right answer. Question number two six seven. In a siphon, the underside of the trough carrying drainage water is higher than the APCL of the canal. Option number B is the right answer. Question number two six eight. In a level crossing, water level of the canal is much higher than that of the drainage. Option number B, no. In level crossing, the water level at canal and drainage get intermixed. Option number B is the right answer. False. Question number two six nine. The bed of the canal is lowered in case of canal siphon. Option number B is B is the right answer. Question number two seventy. The floor of the aqueduct is subjected to uplift pressure due to option number A seepage of water from the canal to the drainage. Right. Option number B subsoil water table in the drainage bed. Right. So option number C is the right answer. Both A and B.